we're starting a documentary called Feel Rich, and it's basically um, about the state of health in urban America or the lack thereof. And our goal with this project is to try to inspire as many people as possible to start just being conscious of their health and you know, loving themselves and, and treating their bodies better. If, if I could get people to do one thing, it'd be take more time, be more patient, and have a greater understanding of what they're buying and what they're eating. And understand that it's so important that you put it in your body. It is so important. It's as important as what you put on the outside of your body. I think what's interesting too about watching the walls is that you know we saw Crystal when we first met her. We first interviewed her a long time ago. Um, she was heavier, and then she was able to get her and her family in the shape and start eating better and start exercising more and being more aware. And now we're seeing Crystal influencing people outside of her family in school, so it's trickling down. You know, so we're hoping that, that as more people you know, adapt to healthier habits, it will trickle down or trickle up to the rest of the family. I, I told Crystal, I said, you know, you're doing something, you're giving the greatest gift to your family, and that's longevity and good health. What greater gift can you give somebody? What, what is more precious than your health? I mean, you can have all the money in the world if you're not healthy. It's worthless. So if there's one thing that, that I can achieve with this film, it would be um, to try to put this top of mind to people and, and have them feel that it's important to, to share this information with their families as well. You know, put the right things in your body. It's, it's, it equates to self-love and self-respect. You know, if you love yourself and you want to drive that nice car, that night that your health is better than a Bentley. You know, it's better than anything that you can acquire. You know, no matter how much money you have on the other side of things, you can't buy your health back necessarily. So it should be your top priority, and right now it's probably in last place. <laughs>